After a second day of dressage here at the FEI Classics at Pau in southwest France, we've seen, of course, a big change to the leaderboard, but all of yesterday's top three still within the top ten. But now it's Nicola Wilson with her European Championships partner One Too Many who hold third place for Great Britain. In second place is Alexander Bragg who redirects here from Burley with Zagreb. And our leader is the winner of those European Championships in 2015 at Blair Castle, Fischer Takanu with the double Olympic champion Mickey Young. We spoke to Young after his test. Uh, Mickey, in the lead now with your European Championship horse, Fischer Takanu, but this is exciting because it's Takanu's first four star. Yes, exactly. It's the first four star. Uh, he's always good in the dressage, so um, he did a really well test. I'm very happy about him. We will see tomorrow. It's the cross country. It's a tough course. It's a long course. It's uh, the first four star for him. But I think um, if the ground is not is not too too bad, so I hope the weather is good from now, and then uh, I think we will have a good day tomorrow. Well, with the first test complete, now our competitors really start to look forward and think about tomorrow's cross country. Pierre Michelet once again setting the track and it is actually really coming up on the technical side. The riders are really scratching their heads about one or two of the fences out here. 49 horse and rider combinations representing some of the very best in the world will take on this track tomorrow Saturday. So don't miss a minute of the cross country action from the FEI Classics at Poe with us on FEI TV. Thank <laughs> you.